the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. They have not been taught the excellency of relationships. Woe betides a man who is left alone to sort your destiny out without anyone to come and assist you. There are many people today, if they do not pay the school fees of their children by themselves, there is nobody to help them. If they do not take the journey by themselves, there is nobody to help them. If they do not serve God by themselves, there is nobody to help them. If they do not pray by themselves, there is nobody to help them. Relationships are powerful. My life today, by the privilege of God's grace, is a product of relationships. I have learned the power and the value and the excellency of relationships. For many of you, this is the answer to your prayer. You have depended on your skill, your degree, your whatever it is and negated men and just believe that all i have is god and all i have is my wisdom i will find my way through life except that you find out that you get to a point where you are pegged at a level and you may never be able to make constructive progress can i tell you i know people who may never really have anything to present except that the one thing they have is that they have mastered relationships please you may want to write this down relationship can be a stream of income you literally can live off relationships like someone will tell you i am in real estate someone will tell you i work with maybe the presidency you can tell them i earn my living maintaining relationships is there any man in the house of saul that i may show him kindness for jonathan's sake have you read that scripture before and the bible says they brought a man called ziba and ziba had about 15 children yet the king did not talk about his children he sent him to laudeba and he said go and fetch this crippled man called mephibosheth and he said as for you from today because of your association with this man you will spend the rest of your days eating with me on this table and thou ziba you and your children will keep farming for this crippled man relationships are powerful there are people today who have earned a lifetime income simply because of those connected to them did you know that if by tomorrow morning let me just play with your mind a little if by tomorrow morning you suddenly appeared a millionaire verified people will never say what did you do they will say where did you go to this one is not what you did now this one is you you must have met someone there are results that are not about what you did it was about someone that you must have met when solomon had that encounter with god in the night he woke up by the very next day and there was such display of profound wisdom his fame went about as proof that he was no longer alone listen to me if you pay attention to what i teach you i tell you this in the name of jesus you will never remain small if you understand the excellency of this mystery in the kingdom of relationships because many of us have not been taught respectfully speaking there are some of us who come from privileged families and we believe that on the strength of the fact that we come from privileged families that have maybe financial resources at the moment we feel that we do not need relationships and so you come to church and they say turn to your neighbor say hallelujah or say god bless you you know and all of that and people just turn and no 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 you are not my class you're not my this and to their shock years later 
you find out that the person you turn your face against you turn your face against 10 years of your progress are we together But there are principles that we must know and engage if relationships are this powerful and if they hold the key to our rising and our excelling i think i said it was it a week or two ago that when the lord moved me to this city i was surprised to see the model of growth and even excellence in this city that when you find individuals grow and excel it is without exaggeration 70 percent relationships more than even competence there are people today whose value has been received across this city not necessarily because it is an expression of their competence but someone who had influence loved them and decided to hold their hands and that opened a world of wonder to them may that happen for you in the name of jesus you've heard me say that in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters are we together now can i tell you this unbelievers across the globe understand this they know the power of relationships you see them invest in relationships with the determination of one who you can almost call a fool and sometimes you are tempted to say what is this level of investment and sacrifice except that when you begin to see the value that comes from that sacrifice it is believers and church people that are largely careless over relationships just because we have god because we have the holy spirit because we have the word of god we have consistently displayed nonchalance especially towards profitable relationships i pray that tonight it will change in the name of jesus christ there are great preachers today who based on the investment of the spirit upon their lives they should not be at the level that they are ministerially sincerely speaking there are worshipers today music ministers worshipers there are people who serve in the body of christ today i've had the honor and privilege of meeting a few people and i am i am amazed at how gifted these people are across boards whether it is in fashion whether it is in politics some of them are christian comedians some of them are you know just gifted people and you are wondering how could someone be this gifted and remain at this level i tell you they have not found the power and the excellency of being connected and being blessed by association i have seen people who have spent time with god in prayer and fasting to access certain levels of graces and then others who came by sincere followership entered into that dimension of grace cheaply an example elijah elisha elisha was never supposed to be a prophet there was no prophecy about him being a prophet elisha was a farmer probably trying to take care of his family but he made up his mind that i may not know my way around my life and destiny but this one thing i will do i have found a man who seems to know what he's doing and i will follow foolishly the sons of the prophet were just there receiving lectures and arguing who would be the next prophet and this one followed sincerely they would even you know just tout him and sp uh, and speak to him and say do you know that god is going to take your master today and he said i know but don't distract me and when they went beyond the jordan elijah looks at him and says i'm about to go you may not see me again but ask very quickly he said for a double portion and he said ah you have asked a difficult thing but if you can still maintain your focus to see me even as i go relationships i cannot begin to tell you testimonies after testimonies of seasons that opened in my life spiritually and otherwise all because of relationships very profitable relationships are you learning now generally speaking there are three kinds of relationships please write it down before we now discuss a few principles there are three kinds of relationships and associations number one there are general relationships 
general associations every day you meet with people every day you get to the bus station you get to the office you get to the bank you get to a restaurant you interact with people in the marketplace and the bible demands that you honor all men there are general relationships you can go and meet someone for the first time in the market and within the five minutes you have to spend with the person you will gist and talk and laugh as though you were born from the same place and after what you say bye never to see the person again general relationships number two there are seasonal relationships that means these are relationships that are so ordained for seasons and the key to maximizing these relationships is to position yourself through discernment to know what you need to receive within the time allotted are we together now for instance there are some of us that god on account of his desire to lift you he will carry you and keep you in the house of an uncle keep you in the house of an auntie put you under the care of someone to train you you will not be there forever but that relationship was for a season because in his mind he saw that that is the only atmosphere where you will learn character and discipline and diligence you can spend your six years there complaining and saying my uncle is a wicked man rather than discerning that time is ticking i should learn quickly what i need to learn the man you call a wicked man has never begged for bread the man you call a wicked man is still with his wife the man you call a wicked man prays in the morning and prays in the night these are the things you should be learning God took you from wherever oh Moses he kept you in Pharaoh's house to learn something that you will need later on seasonal relationships many of you have aborted seasons of greatness in your life because you did not discern relationships that came in certain seasons politically ministerially and so on and so forth rather than discerning to say why did god bring this person this person some of you god gave you jobs not because of the salaries there was something and someone you needed to meet there that after and you had a three-year time span to learn it you spent two years complaining and right now you have about three months left you need grace to catch up quickly hear me there are certain people God took to serve NYSC in regions they did not want. He kept them there to connect them to certain people so they could learn certain things. Every time you are a believer and you are in an uncomfortable environment, know that God allowed you there to see something. If you can look past the pain and yes, I know that the woman did not treat you well when you are under her care. Take your eyes away from her character flaws and learn something about motherhood because the man you are about to marry oh esther you are marrying a hazardous you have to be trained so god can take you and keep you in an uncomfortable environment but rather than learning you are there complaining and say she bought clothes for the children and did not buy clothes from it's a stretching to build you listen carefully many of us have had to recycle seasons in our lives because we could not discern seasons there is no great man i know who will be honest with you about the story of their life and you cannot capture in that story times when they were kept in seemingly uncomfortable positions the man who would later be the matthias steven did you know he started working in the welfare department imagine how much of an insult that would be to him this guy was bubbling with anointing wanting to be a man of god and they say oh yeah serve the rice serve this some of you god will bring you to ministry and while you are eyeing the pulpit god will take you straight to the security department and keep you there and yet in your dreams you are an apostle it is a training don't think god will bring you to the pulpit to come and serve no hmm. so we have general relationships please pay attention we're getting deeper we have seasonal relationships and let me tell you something with seasonal relationships seasonal relationships are largely the kinds of relationships that god uses to prepare us for destiny some of you can have a two-week course with certain classmates and within that two weeks more than what you are learning god brought you there and connected you to certain people because 
five years to come you will need one of those people to be used by god to open a door for you and when you are there you will love only christians and hate muslims you will love only christians or love only your tribesmen and hate other people and the spirit of god will say you are wasting time you are not discerning everyone there has potential to be used by god to bless you are we learning the third kind of relationship very quickly they are called destiny relationships these are relationships that do not die because there is prophecy on them general relationships seasonal relationships and destiny relationships these are people who are part of the overall equation of what god is doing in your life all of these relationships happen to us every day and we must have the discernment to know who is in my destiny as sent by god beyond my current level if you do not know this do you know many people especially those who are non-christians they know the value of what i'm telling you they will go out of their way to consult with diviners help me check who are these people who should be in my life this man this woman this business partner are they correct and the man can conjure all kinds of powers and say this one is there to stay home. he will not help you now but 15 years after now this is the man that god will use to lift you so they will make dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline